when I'm looking at somebody's shit, I have to take a few things into into account. One is how big is his business? What's he doing? How much money does he have to spend? Because what's going to happen is my gut's telling me right away on selling this kind of things that he is that you're going to say a number. He's going to be like, mm -hmm. I can't afford that. Right on, yeah. I know that's what's going to happen. And then you also have to say that like, well, I don't do things for free. So saying no is important because then it leaves you available for the next one that comes along yeah. and you could, you could say yes to. And it's typically what she was doing. She was getting gigs and she's shooting for 250 bucks. And I'm like, my man, you got to start charging a lot more. You see, keep shooting for 250 bucks for a photo shoot. You be shooting 250 for the rest of your life. You got to start charging a thousand bucks, 750. You got to get real numbers out of this. Um, you know, in the beginning, you can't be super fancy because if you do good posts, somebody might see it and be like, "Who does your social?" I'm like, "Oh, this girl Caitlin does." Yeah. So he's trying to build a community around what? Just pitching sales. This is not Instagram's not designed to convert sales. It's designed to promote marketing and build brand. People get confused on that. So you got to explain that to people, like. If you're going to do an IG with a, for a business purpose, is like you've trying to you're kind of you're trying to create a community that like likes to be a part of it and likes to follow your stuff. So it's got to be funny things. It's got to be engagement in that level. Um, and everything he puts on here is just it's just terrible to the eye. I would say to him like, what do you want to spend? That's always the first question. Okay. And then you can go I from there. To ask that I know it's Why? Way lower than what I Why would. are you afraid? Because it's be way lower. So than what? Than Why are you afraid of it? Yeah, that's it. Uh, I want to spend hundred dollars a month. I don't do it for hundred dollars a month. What do you what mean? What is the range that you think this would be? It depends on what you want to get out of it and what you think you could do for them, and in, and in turn, you could always say in the beginning like. So it's for Facebook and Instagram, and he wants TikTok, but I'm gonna sell my kids to TikTok. It's a full time job. That's gonna. How many hours a day is it gonna take you? Well, if he wants two posts a day. Then you got to now go find content because there's none to take from. No, that's right. Then, then I was gonna suggest like where does he, he where's where do where can you go and record him and stuff and take pictures? Well, he has sponsored players who play at tournaments and stuff around the state. So like he says, I asked him, I go where I go. Do, I said, do you have like footage stored anywhere? He said, just the lives that we do on Facebook Ugh. and like pictures that people send him. But if you look at the pictures, they're so you have no content to work with to begin with. So now you gotta go procure the content. You gotta go cultivate it, mm -hmm. dig it up, and then do something with it. So the question you have to ask yourself, which is an easy way to do things, is like, how many hours is it going to take you yeah. per week? Just guesstimate. Think about it. I'll give you 30 seconds or a minute to think about what do you, and, and listen, overestimate. Don't ever underestimate. Like, if you think it's 10, go 14. Well, I'm thinking if there's 14 posts a week, you give roughly an hour per post. That's about 14. Hour per post? That's what you give, typically. That's what we always did. An hour well, per post? It po doesn't take an hour, but you, pay, you say it's going to take an hour because you have to edit the content, grab, or whatever. Like, we just you give yourself. Okay. So... 14 hours a week, 15, 15 hours a week. And what do you think somebody, so 15 hours a week, let's say it was the cheapest gig ever and you chalk it down to $25 an hour, just as a goof. Mm -hmm. Like I think you charge $50 an hour, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So $25 an hour, five times 15 is what? I'm not gonna. So it's 250 plus uh, five times 250 is another uh, 125. That's 375 a week at $25 an hour. I By the way, if I was as good as you, I would charge him double that. I would charge him, I would say it's seven fifty a week. And he's gonna say no. Yeah. And by the way, then you could say, look, I I think this would this if you wanted to do it, you'd be like, look, I think this would take me um, It would take less than fifteen. But okay, like, well, I'm just saying, I think this I think something like this, you you have no content, I've got all these, I gotta do all these things, da da da, right? You want it on Facebook, you want all this other stuff, right? This is real, it's like management the whole night. It's like literally a part time job. So this is not like a hundred bucks a week. You want to get somebody for hundred bucks a week? Your fucking posts are gonna look exactly the same. Mm -hmm. um, I work at a professional office where our where our, our socials legit. Like, and I'm a person who's like, you know, doing a lot of the of the stuff. So I would I would probably at your stage of the game where I'm at, I'd say it's five hundred a week. Okay. It's two grand a month. Okay. And he's gonna say there's no way I can pay that. And you can go, I'm sorry, can't help you because you're not gonna be doing things for fucking ten dollars an hour because you're going to end up doing these things for ten dollars an hour and then you're always gonna be like you're like i don't have any time I don't have my eyes are going everywhere and i can't fucking breathe right like you know what i mean so i think you should tell him but i'd explain it to him yeah. first question i have right now is the first conversation how much are you looking to spend okay. and there's no other conversation we have people like write in like i want to be instructor for the company well who do you work for i work for or i have a guy right now a prosecutor's office in new jersey that literally doesn't like me and I'm like they're like well I have this idea I'm like none of that matters go ask your bosses if they'll let you be an instructor at street cop training 
and they're like, well, I, have, I just want to run this idea. Like, I don't want to spend time on ideas. If, if you can't work here, what's the point? I'm not your fucking coach. I'm looking to procure and hire more instructors. So if you can't work here, let's not talk. Yeah. So the question is, if he, Kate, he might say 100 bucks a week. And you're just going to have to say. if he comes back with that, right? Do I, like, obviously. If you're I'm, out of the ballpark. And then you could tell him, bro, like, I was going to give you a discount at 500 a week. That's what I would say. And he goes, no, I can't even come close to that. That is not your client. You've got to find better clients now. 